It's going to be from Matthew 6, right. uh, starting at verse 9, and it's just verse 9, uh, where Jesus said, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Amen. amen. And now, Lord, less of me and more of you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. And I want to talk just a couple of minutes, amen, amen, amen. about... Uh, on the subject, don't forget about the Father. Amen. 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 On this Father's Day, and, and on this Father's Day. amen. Amen. We're we're few in number, but I think the Scripture said, "Where there's two or three gathered in my name, I'll be in the midst." And as long as the Lord's in the house, we're all right this morning. Amen. Don't forget about the Father. Amen. Amen. You know, we go through our daily lives, and we always remember mother, amen. And mother's a good thing to remember, amen. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love my mother to life itself, amen. amen. It's good to remember mother. Mother does many great things for us. But sometimes we forget about the father. Sometimes we forget about Daddy, hey, amen, amen, amen. And you, you think about Mother's Day and how the church gets packed out on Mother's Day and everybody's happy and they get roses and everybody goes out to eat and everything is great on Mother's Day. And that's great. Amen. I love my mother too and I do everything I can for her. But the Spirit says, don't forget about the Father. A -a -a amen, amen. A, -a, a father, amen. And I'm not a father as of yet. Lord, help me. But, but I am a son. A -a 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 amen. I, I, I have an aspect on this father thing. It just comes from a different place. A -a 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 amen. I, I got the Holy Spirit to help me out here too. So when you think about father, uh, uh, what does it take for uh, to be a good father? A good father loves his children. Amen. Uh, a good father is is proud of his children. Amen. Good father takes care of his children. Eh? Yes, Amen. And, and, and protects his children. Provides for his children. Uh, a good father loves his children. Amen. Amen. So. The Spirit says, don't forget about the Father. Amen. And in a similarity, amen, if you will, sometimes we forget about our Heavenly Father. We remember God the Son all the time. But sometimes we forget about there's a God the Father. And the Spirit is saying this morning, don't forget about the Father. And, and, and Jesus is good. Amen. Jesus is great. We love Jesus. Jesus did a lot for us. He is our Savior and Redeemer. He is our everything. But the Spirit says this morning, don't forget about the Father. Jesus came. And he gave us things. Uh, the, uh, the other thing about a good father is sacrifice. Mm. A, a, a great father sacrifices mm. for his children. Wow. It's going to be some things daddy is going to have to sacrifice. Some things he's going to have to give up yeah. for his children. Yes, All right. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody, uh, 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 my, my, my professor right now in my class, he's a, he's a Chinese man, and, and, and he always says, you, you guys understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? That's what he says. You guys know what I'm talking about? Or he'll say, either he'll say, you guys know what I'm talking about? Or he'll say, agree with me? Yeah. Agree with me? Yeah. Yeah. He said, if you agree with me, you know what I'm talking about. I need somebody to wave their hand, blink their eyes, do something. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Uh, I, I, amen. I think I'm going to get like him. Are you, are you agree with me? <laughs> a, a, amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Savior. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God. We yeah. thank the Father for the Son. Jesus gave us a lot of things. He gave us knowledge, amen, of the Father. He gave us light because we'd be living in darkness. He gave us hope, amen. Yeah. 
Amen. He gave us a way to get to heaven because we all know you can't get to the Father unless you go through the Son. Amen. So he gave us a way to get to heaven. He gave us the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. He, he, to comfort us. When he left the earth, he left us a comforter so that we wouldn't have to feel like we were by ourselves. The Lord gave us a lot of things. And, and one of the great things that I, that I read while studying is this right here. Uh, Jesus uh, was welcomed by shepherds. Amen. So that we could be welcomed by angels. Ooh, wow. Jesus had a human birth so that we could have a spiritual birth. Jesus occupied a stable so that we could one day occupy a mansion. Right. Uh, Je Jesus had an earthly mother so that one that is knowing that we would have a heavenly father. Right. Jesus subjected himself to human limitations yeah. so that we could be set free from sin's limitations. Yeah. Jesus left his glory to come down so we could share in his glory. And, and then the last thing was Jesus came to where we are so that one day we could go to where he is. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. There was a sacrifice in there. And we ought to be sacrificing for each other as Christians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. That, that's, that's the bottom line today. Sacrificing for each other as Christians to better develop the church here on earth. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. But at the same time, as much as Jesus gave us, as much as Jesus gave us, the Spirit is saying today, don't forget about the Father. Yeah. What do you mean, preacher? Jesus gave us all these things, and Jesus gave us freedom from sin. But God gave you eternal life. Wait a minute. Wait, what are you saying? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting Life. Amen. Jesus' blood forgave you for your transgressions. Yeah. The, the Son's blood gave, forgave you for your sins. Yeah. But it was the Father's sacrifice. Yeah. Whoa. Woo, glory. Yeah. The Father sacrificing his only begotten son. I'm going to tell you right now, I, I don't think I'll give up my son. If, if the Lord lets me have a son, I don't know if I can give him up, y'all. But God, the Father, sacrificed his only begotten son just so that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus' blood forgave us for, the, for our sins, but God the Father gave us eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Yes, Remember the Son, God bless you, but don't forget about the Father. May the Lord add a blessing upon the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord so much for that word to Reverend Brooklyn. Don't forget the Father. Please stand. Do we have one today? One, six, one. I've decided. Who don't want to forget about the Father? Do we have one? Who want to know the sacrifice of, of Jesus Christ? Do we have one today? Amen. One, six, four. Yeah. One, six, four. You hear me? Follow Jesus today. Doors of the church is open. What a powerful word today. Don't forget the Father. Anybody need prayer? Anybody want to come forward to just give a praise report? We ask that you come right now. Yeah, that's it. That's
ser. Amen. Do not forget the Father. Thank you, Reverend Brother, for that message. The Holy Spirit shared it through you. so much. Hey, it's such a beautiful, what a beautiful song to finish a great message to the Lord. Amen. 9.45, we have our Sunday school. At 11 o'clock, we have our regular service. Um, today is community mission, and it's at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And we'll be at, at White Oak. At 6 o'clock at White Oak. And also, don't forget the uh, to love someone today, love a father, or tell somebody happy Father's Day, and yeah. just a love period, and enjoy your family and friends. Pastor, is there anything else that you need to share? That's it. All right. That's Nothing it. else? Yeah. Brooks Brooks will be in your hand. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory in all things. Once again, we thank you all for coming out and sharing with us on this happy Father's Day. Amen. I want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers that are present this morning. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Uh, to my pastor, thank you for once again sharing uh, the pulpit with us, the we the associate ministers. Amen. Yeah. Letting us share what God has instilled in us. To Reverend Palmer, God bless you. To our beautiful musician, God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. I said I didn't have anything about to do. And that is, I, I recently was sent a text and got a confirmation that a certain fellow is engaged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I hear that, now yesterday we're talking, we already planned your wedding. Amen. Amen. The Lord did provide, and uh, I was engaged on, not this past Friday, but the Friday before. Oh, Amen. Amen. To my beautiful fiance, Tasha, whom you, you all met a couple of yeah. times. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. be in prayer for us, please. Amen. Amen. As we will be in prayer for you all. Amen. 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 If our hearts and minds are clear, let us stand. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we come to you today saying thank you. Thank you for just another day. Thank you for all the blessings you've bestowed upon us, not because of anything we've done, but in spite of everything we've done. Lord, we come and we acknowledge that we have done wrong and we're, we've sinned against you, Lord. We've fallen short of your righteousness. We say, forgive us now and clean us up. Make us fit for your service. Make us fit for your way. Make us fit to be servants of your kingdom here on earth and then one day there in heaven. Amen. And we just pray right now for those that are less fortunate, Lord. For those that don't know you in the pardons of their sin, Lord. For our youth and for our seniors, Lord. For those that are part of the bereavement right now, Lord. For those that are in prisons and those that are on streets. For those in nursing homes. For those that are sick, not only in in mind or body, but in spirit, Lord. We Lord. pray for them right now in the name of Jesus. Send your Holy Spirit, bind up all negative thoughts, ways, and actions, Lord. Use us, Lord, to be pillars of your word and your way, Lord, in the community. Let this church be a beacon of light on this corner, Lord. Bless our pastor, bless all of our aux auxiliaries, Bless our community, Lord. And as you do these things, we'll be careful to give your name the praise. And now, Lord, as we go from here, but never from your presence, go with us and before us, make easy and successful our way until we meet again. And let us all sing together. 
Amen. God bless you. May keep you.